Yo, collect and connect with Blake and Chad. Chad and Blake. Collect and connect. Blake and Chad's collect and connect. This is Luke Chu. Dave Wrestler. Blake and Chad's. This is Blake and Chad's. This is Collect and Connect. Welcome back, y'all, for another review on the Mona Lisa. Uh, this is Blake and Chad's Collect and Connect. We got a grail piece here, Chad. What are you thinking about this one, man? Uh, I think you said it. Grail. Grail Nothing piece. Else. All right. We got the best known, the most visited, the most written about, the most sung about, the most parodied work of art in the world, two officially licensed digital collectibles dropped by Elmont X Sunday, February 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific time. So that will be 12... Or yeah, 12 p.m. Eastern time, my time, and Chad, that's your. That's a little different for you as well. So, what time would that be for you? Uh, that should be if it's 12, it'll be 11 a.m. Uh, Central time for myself, gotcha. and then that's 5 p.m. UK time. Gotcha. And these are 150 pounds, and they come at a, a 300 total edition. Yes, 330 total. 30 are held back by Elmon X. Yes, there's 300 total editions at 150 pounds, which equals around 180 US dollars. Nice. That's not bad, man. These are good price points for a Mona Lisa. I mean, Uh, yeah, that's a really good price, (laughs) I think. I think we're, I think we're, you know, speechless for the most part. We're even getting the chance to do this review with Elmont X and having the opportunity, uh, you know, so definitely go give uh, Elmont X, formerly known as VTail, but check out their Twitter handle at Elmont X underscore official uh give them a like a follow and a subscribe uh go retweet this stuff you know right away and uh, we're gonna get this out um go give us a like and subscribe okay well a little insight about the mona lisa is the mona lisa is a half-length portrait painting created by the italian renaissance master leonardo da vinci the subject of the painting is believed to be lisa gerardini a wealthy florentine woman the painting measures 77 by 53 centimeters and executed in oil on a poplar panel. The Mona Lisa is famous for its enigmatic smile, which appears to change depending on the viewer's perspective. The subject's gaze is directed <laughs> outwards, leaving the viewer in, leaving the viewer into the painting, while the delicate modeling of her face and hands is offset by the rich folds of her dress and veil. Leonardo's mastery of sfumato, a technique of blending colors to create a soft, hazy effect, is evident in the Mona Lisa. He used this technique to create a dreamlike atmosphere and to imbue the painting with a sense of depth and luminosity. The subtle use of light and shadow adds to the painting's realism and creates a sense of depth, making the Mona Lisa seem almost alive. So... It's going to be something else. The Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci is a true masterpiece of Renaissance art, which continues to captivate audiences globally, renowned for its technically mastery, enigmatic smile, and timeless beauty. This is the first ever officially licensed Mona Lisa NFT as a premium digital artwork in 3D by Almon X. Holders can view, interact with the NFT in augmented reality, which that's going to be something pretty cool when you can have, you know, this set up augmented reality on your living room right. wall. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, this uh, drop Mona Lisa is going to be something else. It's Oof. exclusive license NFT released in 3D and augmented reality on Elmon X. Well, what do you think about that right there? Like augmented reality Mona Lisa. Like, did you think Leonardo da Vinci was going to be thinking about NFTs? <laughs> back then chad like did you think about that like, well, like well, yeah i mean it, it might have came across his mind at one point in time but well just think of the history <laughs> that the mona lisa has been through right like it's the most and then now it's you know tell me a little bit about what you know about the mona lisa um, well i mean it's been on permanent display at the lure in paris since 1797 that's crazy. I mean, that alone, that says a lot. Like, that's, <laughs> you know, let's get why it's the most recognized painting out there because, I mean, it's so been on it's gonna for be a very now. long time. 
augmented reality. So there, yeah, there, there is the public domain of the Mona Lisa. And, you know, there is uh, anybody can mint an NFT of the Mona Lisa, but this one has a little bit of significance, but no, that's again, right, like, though. you know, what they're talking here is legit. And, um, you know, let me read something from, uh, uh, Elmont X is, is from the world's leading specialist in, distri in distribution of art, cultured and historical images and footage of re reproduction with 50 years experience providing images of the most prestigious museums, collections, and artists. More details coming soon. Okay. Elmont X has other notable previous NFT releases, which include one of the most influential artists of, the genera of this generation, Patrick Hugh. So, I mean, they've got quite a few cool artists already that they got lined up and now they got the Mona Lisa. So in the, in the Mona Lisa NFT collection, there are two different digital collectibles. There's the original edition where Blake had mentioned earlier, there's 300 NFTs priced at 150 pounds. And then there's the artist proof where there's 10 editions and that's priced at 900 pounds. And with the artist proof, it comes with a physical product to unlock, which is pretty cool to have that with the well, art proof. To what do you get mean by a physical piece? Like uh, it just happens to be <laughs> a print. Gotcha. I was gonna <laughs> say, very, yeah, very Leo, cool we're waiting print. on Leo here. You mean he's, wait, he's gonna be doing ten more? Okay. <laughs> okay, I know what you mean now. I got you, bro. Yes. Ownership of the Artist Proof Edition unlocks a matching physical museum called a pictorial depth print. The print measures 77 by 53 centimeters, which is the exact same size as the original Mona Lisa. Pretty the great. physical AP print uses deep blacks, brilliant colors, striking contracts, and the perfect reproduction of detail. Artist Proof Edition's physical and digital are individually numbered on the back of the Mona Lisa, 1 through 10. All you got to do is give a wall address. You don't even have to connect to nothing or anything at all. You just give them your address and they airdrop Copy the and paste. into your wallet. Or your dot deal. Yeah. You know, nice like simple easy, stuff. Right? Yeah. Simple stuff for onboarding. Um, and again, for a Mona Lisa drop, you know, this can be, you know, like I said, like a uh, grail, you know, uh, mm. <laughs> we don't say that too much, man. Like, oh my gosh. Like, I can't believe we're even saying. No, that. but it kind of feels like it is one. It Definitely. is in a way like to us, to right. maybe a lot of more people and to the IP rights to that, to the people it holds to, and especially to Elmont X and their family. And, uh, you know, they worked exactly. hard for this drop um, to get to this point and to do a lot more future drops. Look at your shirt. That's an NFC. Um, you can scan stuff right off of that. Right. That's a, that's yeah, right there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So you scan that, you know, it pops up right on. If I scan that, it pops up on my phone. Right. So, yep. And amazing technology, more to come, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is a decentralized and immutable blockchain system allows product tracking to its origin. Collectors can use uh, augmented reality to view the interact the NFTs uh, with the ability to scale the asset to fit your surroundings. So what that means, you can make it as big as you want to as small as you want and still get the same detail in that picture that's important man so just imagine like Definitely. blowing up the picture the size of this wall and still being able to see it just as small as as possible as well and you know and again mm -hmm. the technology that's behind this stuff um you know the way we're thinking now and how artists are thinking and creators are thinking uh to build this out like it's amazing to me so uh you know so big ups to elmon x I, uh, you know, Definitely. mobile apps are launching in 2023 with a focus on licensed products, aiming to, en aiming to enrich the experience of collecting NFTs, uh, which you are. Look at your shirt. Uh, look at us. You know, we got physical stuff behind us. I got Patrick Hughes books. I got a mail to you. <clears throat> There's a bunch of things that now collecting has connected us, you know, like, yep. There we go. It reversed our names, you know, collect and connect to back to us, you know, like now we're connecting in different ways. And, you know, now you're wearing digital shirts that, you know, we're, we're having fun with and wearing on our shows to show that, you know, this is the type of technology that's coming. Um, Elmar okay. X is providing <clears throat> new stuff. Go give them a like and a follow. Go give us a like and a follow and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Uh, we want to get up there. We want to show everybody what Web3 is going to be producing for on um, our show as well. So, Chad, you want to take us out or anything? You know, um, we can read out. Yeah, I can read the right date out. One yes. More time. The, <laughs> the, 
<laughs> again, yes, there's uh, the Mona Lisa NFT launch date is February 26th at 9 a.m. Pacific time, 5 p.m. UK time. And it's available on l1x.com for its last drop. So, yeah, we're going to be luck. looking forward to this, and I'm sure everyone else will be looking forward to this. Good luck out there. Yeah. Thanks for tuning in to our review. Once again, this is Blake and Chad's Collect and Connect. I'm Chad. That's Blake. This is another review for Elmon X. And it's the Mona Lisa. Get ready. The Mona Lisa, baby. Oh, Get ready. Yeah.